hello guys welcome back in this tutorial session in this tutorial session we are going to process events for a pie chart let me run this example first here we go you can see a stage and we have this pie chart here on this stage let me click on this whenever I am clicking this is showing the percentage sales percentage of that city so we are going to handle this click action and then we will display the sales percentage on this pie chart also we will see how to set legends on right hand side and left hand side also on the top guys now we are back here in this notepad before starting we will understand few important points first how to alter the direction in which the slices are placed in the pie chart you can see by default size slices will be placed in a clockwise direction as you can see in this image now if you need to place anti-clockwise direction then what you have to do you have to simply call a method chart dot set clockwise and you have to pass false as argument then this will set the direction anti-clockwise see the image and also second things if you want to display your legends on the right hand side vertically left hand side vertically or you can place this legends on the top of the pie chart so you have to call this method set legends side and then you have to give the right constant from the side class left right top or so you will place with the help of this now we will see handling click events on a pie chart there are few steps that we have to perform step one first we have to create a label on the fxml and we have to assign the fx id then we will set the color and font in the controller now first i will open this fxml and guys this is the same project that i have used in my first video tutorial session link given in the description and i would suggest please watch that video first and take a basic idea then come back here and please continue with this tutorial so you will get the complete understanding what is going on this is the fxml and we have the pie chart on it and now i have just added this label simply from the library and this is added right here and uh, i have assigned fx id to this one also we have cleared out the text which was appearing by default so there is no text i will assign the text at the runtime and i will reposition it whenever i will click on the pie chart slices now it's time to set the color and font through the programming and now inside the controller you can see this is the reference variable for the label that we have just added on the fxml now with the help of this reference variable i will set the font color and font size and type these two statement will be used here so i have just added at line number 64 we are setting the text color black we have a lot more choices you can change it from this place blue green yellow and uh, we are setting the style at line number 65 so the font is 20 and the font type is Arial. now now we will see the step 2 in the step 2 basically we are going to associate event handler to each slice object basically each slice object is a pie chart dot data object with the help of get data method we will get the list of the all objects and we will get an observable list of pie chart dot data objects now this is the code let me copy this thing and i will paste it here then i will explain you here we go so guys first we are running a for loop okay and we are getting the observable list from this pie chart at the creation of the pie chart we have added observable list inside the list we have pie chart dot data objects okay so we are fetching each object one by one and we are associating event handler on a node now look at the line number 69 we get the data object 
and then we calling the get node method this will return node because we need a node to associate event on it and we are calling the add event handler method inside this we are passing two arguments first one is the event type so we are using the constant mouse clicked because we have to handle mouse click event and then we are passing one object of event handler type and uh, we have just created the object and uh, this is the interface and this has only single method so we have just implemented here and we are providing only single statement inside it to test it you can see this handle method will be called every time whenever you will click on any slice on pie chart and this text will be printed on the console first we will run it we will test it if this is working fine then we will do further coding now it's time to take a clean build of this project okay build successful now i'm going to run it here we go and this is the stage and pie chart is appearing now i will click on the slices and uh, that text will be printed on console so this is the console now i will click on this city e and you can see a statement is printed pie chart click now let me show you the statement which is at line number 73 so whenever i click on any slice this handle method will be called and the statement will be executed okay again just clicked on the another slices so this arrangement is working correctly now we will do further coding so now our task is to display the sales percentage on click on mouse click to do that we have to use that label that we have placed it on the fxml so here's the simple code that i have written in the step 3 we are going to just set the percentage value on the label and we will reposition it so i will add this code at this place let me explain you what we are doing exactly on the fxml we have one label okay and whenever i am going to click on the any slice of the pie chart so we are fetching that coordinates that means x position and y position and this x y position will be the new position of that label so set translate x is giving the new x coordinate for that label in the same way at line number 75 we are providing the y coordinate new y coordinate for that label and this e dot get seen x is going to return the x position where i am clicking on the scene and this get seen y is returning the y position of that click so we are getting the exact position new position for the label to display these sales percentage i hope this is clear at line number 76 finally we are setting the text that we want to display so by calling data dot get pi value we are displaying that value percentage okay let me take the clean build and i will run it then i will show you on the stage then you can easily understand what is happening right here so this is the complete code okay clean build is successful now i'm going to run this okay guys so this is the stage and we have this pie chart now i will click on this slice now you can see i have just clicked inside this slice e which is the city e and which is displaying the percentage this is 30% sales okay now i will click on this city a and this is showing me 13.0 percentage let me click here again 25% for city b in the same way i will click at this green section which is 10% referring to city c and this is 22% which is 
for city D. So guys, whenever you will click on the place, so the text will be displayed exactly that place because we are repositioning the label on that location. So we are tracking the mouse click event and we are fetching the exact click position on this click position we are putting our label so we have performed this action here in this code also we will see uh, two more things that I have explained to you at the beginning of this tutorial how to set the uh, slices positioning in anti-clockwise direction so also you can set the legends on right hand side so you have these options bottom left right and top so you can set side dot right with the help of set legend side method so legends will be displayed on the right hand side now and the next thing is that the slices ordering will be anti-clockwise if you will set this method false set clockwise false okay then we will get the ordering in anti-clockwise direction okay guys I have just saved this code and I will take the clean build once again and I will show you the results and this is the stage now you can see at line number 64 we have used set clockwise false now you can see the ordering of the slices is anti-clockwise and we are getting the legends on right hand side because we have used side at line number 63 is right so this is placed on the right hand side of the pie chart so guys in this way you can customize your pie chart in your JavaFX application I hope all these concepts are clear to you so guys if you found this video tutorial relevant and useful Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And guys for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.